What's up everyone? And today we're in Tokorozawa. So the station's actually a little bit behind me. And uh, I just started walking down this way. It's uh, about an hour, hour half away from where I live. And about 40 minutes outside of Tokyo. Tokyo area, if I'm not mistaken, at least when uh, we travel into Tokyo, this place is like in the middle, the stop for this place. There's Tokorozawa stop and there's Shin Tokorozawa. I don't know what the difference is, but the Shin has some other stops too. Like there'll be the name of the place and then Shin with the same name of the place. So I don't know if it's like, oh, it's the same place, but a little bit further or what? I've never actually had to, had to go to any of the shins before. But the station here has a Seibu, the same as like Ikebukuro station where it has all of the different uh, shops and everything inside, like little department stores and whatnot. Book Off Plus for like uh, manga and stuff. And they have a lot of like anime figures and whatnot. Super Second Street. So Second Street, if you guys remember, is uh, kind of like a reused, reused store. But in this shopping center, the Super, I'm assuming is bigger. There's also a uh, anime in here, uh, Don Quixote. Uh, a camera store, there's a dollar store in here, Syria. Just some, what are some of the signs we're seeing? A lot of the the Lions baseball banners. Baseball is uh, yaku. Yaku is baseball in Japanese. And I'm not sure if the Lions is like Tokyo's team or like Saitama's team or oh, it's a roast beef and oyster place. But uh, apparently over here it's super popular. I drove past their baseball stadium once, but. I don't really remember where it was. It was like a couple of days after we first moved here. But they're definitely advertising a lot. All of these little flags. This other thing, there's a lot of construction going on with the roads. I don't know if it's normal or if they just decide to do it all at once. Even the side street of where my house is, they're doing construction there. So we, we walk the dogs on that road, but we leave early enough in the morning that they don't start there. But hopefully it doesn't like interrupt too much. It's far away from the house well enough that it's not too noisy. But it's also close enough that you know it's there. There seems to be a lot of uh, massage parlors and uh, beauty and makeup salons. It's interesting because the signs here, they say beauty and make. Like uh, makeup is just make. Like, uh, when you go to Sephora, they have the, like, the chairs there and you can get your makeup done and whatnot. Because uh, a lot of people do that when I'm walking in the mall in Oahu or whatever, I see people. It's like a little, a little shrine. A little 
I think it's a Inadi shrine. Inadi is fox. But yeah, they don't call it a. Uh, you don't get your makeup done. You just you just go in to get make. Maruetsu. Little grocery store. on that road okay let's go try i found a side street let's go see what's down the side street go from there can cross right here lucky for me this lady was already crossing so like another another massage place at the bottom of this like apartment complex right here Oh, well, does your apartment building have any amenities? No, but there's a massage parlor at the bottom of it. Okay, I don't know what this says, but this looks pretty cool. When I look down the road, got some weird art right there. Okay, so there's a bar. Oh, it's like a karaoke place. So legend. Another karaoke place. Another karaoke place. I think I'm just down like a, a back alley full of bars and... Oh, this place looks like it has like live music. Live music bar. What is this? A little bento shop. They have, uh, looks like Unagi and other stuff on skewers. Oh, and then uh, there's uh, an adult kind of bar at the, at the very back. All right. Well, when we got, like, right out of Tokorozawa Station, there was a couple of um, more adult bars, too. They were close because it's a little too early for that right now, but they weren't uh, hidden like that one we just walked past. Blue Kong. Oh, and it's like a little map of all the, all the bars and everything we just passed. A liquor shop, conveniently placed. I think we came from that way since we just came down. So what's more, what's more down this way? This looks like a shrine kind of place. A lot of times, especially since, you know, I live countryside pretty much, Inaka, um, there's like these really big, almost like temple shrine looking places. And sometimes it's just like people's houses, like, it's so into the country that they never like remodeled or anything, got any work done. So like the house is the same as it's been since they built it, like way, way back. So you could be like going around looking for cool temples and stuff and end up that you just like looking at someone's house, just never changed. Pub, more bars. Must be nice to like live over here if you're a bar goer. You can uh, go do your salary man's job, your salary woman's job, or salary job. Have a stressful work day. And you just go over there in that little corner over there, and you can go to any kind of bar, different bar every night if you wanted to get plastered, drink your stress away, stumble your way home, knock out, redo it. 
What is this? Subayome. Ihoi kohe kue. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Maybe a preschool? Kuen. Kuen is school. That says Kuen. Ikuen. I don't know. There's a lot more of these, uh, like this house. Like these uh, modern looking houses popping up everywhere. I think they're pretty cool. I live in a pretty old house right now. But, uh, it's newer than, you know, like the, the one we just passed that never changed at all. A tobacco shop. But some of these like modern ones out of nowhere in the middle of all the older houses, I think they look pretty nice. So that's the train, which means the station might be over there. So we'll hook up this way. go back up this way and hopefully we'll be somewhere where we know we are. Jeez, this place looks pretty modern like the doors look really nice they have the little camera with the speaker. But this place looks deserted. everyone's doing going places today's a uh, weekend day over here so I don't see uh, that much crowd maybe everyone took the extra 40 minutes and actually just went straight into Tokyo or maybe that baseball thing is actually this weekend and everyone's at that baseball thing oh there's a chiropractor's office Right there. I'm sure I passed by a bunch, but I never knew the what it was. That's the first one that says chiropractor in uh, in English. Parking lot. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Like we're passing by all these cars right now. And a lot of these Japanese cars have like uh, tablets built into them, like the more the more fancy ones. My little one is it's not that fancy, but a lot of these uh, these newer ones have like tablets built into them, so people are like watching TV because you can actually watch TV off of the tablet. So they're watching TV as they drive, and I don't know, it's it's pretty sketchy in all honesty. Like, you get cut off on the road, and you're like, dude, what the heck? And you, you look at them to see, like, what the heck they're doing, and dude has, like, TV playing. Like, forget the whole, don't be on your phone while you're driving. Don't be on your little car TV while you're driving. Seibu. So the Cebu, like how I said before, that's the, the shop with all the other shops inside of it. So that's where the station is. So we gotta go down this way, get back where we were. But all in all, we're doing a circle now. So that was a little, little stroll in Tokorozawa. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It seems like, uh, there is other stuff to do here, but you have to like know what you're coming here to do. 
So other than that, I hope you guys have a good one and I'll see you in the next one.